Millions of Brits will be sighing with relief as it was revealed the king's progress in the fight against cancer means he will return to public-facing duties, seemingly confirming this year's Drooping the Color. Charles is not yet clear of the disease and is still undergoing treatment, but his medical team are understood to be pleased with the progress made so far and remain positive about his recovery. For Prince William and Catherine, the news of King Charles's deteriorating health caused them profound heartache. As devoted members of the royal family, they share not only a familial bond, but also a profound sense of duty and affection for the patriarch of their family. The king has minimized public-facing duties ever since his diagnosis was announced back in February. But he is understood to be willing to undertake a few royal engagements. Now, a royal commentator claimed Charles has a big decision to make with summer coming up, which is whether to attend either Trooping the Color in mid-June or Royal Ascot, which will take place a week after, or both. As the king prepares to resume his public-facing royal duties, insiders close to the royal family suggest that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, harbors a deep concern about the pace and pressures that might accompany his return. As a senior member of the royal family, Catherine has always demonstrated a poised and thoughtful approach to both her public duties and her private life. Sources close to the family reveal that while she deeply respects King Charles's commitment to his role, she's also acutely aware of the potential health risks involved in a swift return to a full schedule of engagements. Trooping the Color is an event the Wales children enjoy. It's not clear if they will be attending this year, according to royal biographer Ingrid Seward. Typically, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis arrive in a carriage with their mother, Princess Catherine. But if Catherine isn't going this year, and Prince William is arriving on horseback, it's predicted that the children may skip a celebration. The kids probably love it, and it's probably a real treat for them. You can imagine how much they'd love it. Catherine's concerns are not just about physical health of the king, but also the broader implications for the royal family's future. There is an understanding that the king's health could lead to greater responsibilities being shifted to other family members, including Prince William and Catherine themselves. This shift could significantly alter their current roles and increased workload, impacting their family life and their own set of royal duties. As King Charles gears up for his return, the coming months will be a critical in setting the tone for how the monarchy intends to address the health challenges of its current head. For Catherine, this will be a period of adjustment and possibly increased responsibility, but also an opportunity to reinforce the family's unity and resilience in the face of personal challenges. For more than 260 years, Trooping the Color has been held to celebrate the Sovereign's official birthday. Tens of thousands of people line the streets as the parade moves from Buckingham Palace and down the Mall to Horse Guards Parade, along the royal family, who are on horseback and in carriages. It ends with a spectacular fly-past by the RAF, who watched in awe from the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Each year, more than 250,000 people apply for the place in a ballot for one of the 8,000 seats in the stands around the parade square. The British Army says of the event, Everyone who takes part glows when they recall their first trooping the color. It brings back memories of personal pride and satisfaction. It's a genuine career highlight.